Better cross-border settlement arrangements are needed to support the global financial system. Settlement is what happens after a trade in any market. It's the various back-office procedures that ensure the buyer receives the asset and the seller receives the money. Today, settling financial transactions across borders and currencies is often complex, slow, expensive and may involve risks. Project Jura investigated whether distributed ledger technology can help make settlements simpler, cheaper and faster using wholesale central bank digital currencies or wholesale CBDCs. It tested the cross-border settlement of a tokenized financial instrument and the settlement of foreign exchange transactions between French and Swiss financial institutions. The experiment took place in a near real setting with real value being transferred involving the test platform of a licensed central securities depository for tokenized assets. The transactions were conducted under the current legal and regulatory frameworks of France and Switzerland. Project Jura is a public-private collaboration between central banks, the Bank for International Settlements, commercial banks, market infrastructures, law firms and technology firms. Let's look at how the experiment worked. It took place over three days. On day one, Natixis in France issued a tokenized French commercial paper with a nominal value of 200,000 euros. UBS, a Swiss bank, bought the commercial paper using Euro wholesale CBDCs to pay Natixis. Also on the first day, Credit Suisse, a Swiss bank, settled a foreign exchange transaction with Natixis, buying Euro wholesale CBDC against Swiss franc wholesale CBDC. On day two, UBS sold the commercial paper it acquired from the Texas in a secondary market transaction to Credit Suisse against Euro Wholesale CBDC. To finish the experiment, on day three, Credit Suisse redeemed the commercial paper to Natixis and a foreign exchange transaction was also settled between these institutions to return to the initial balances. In today's financial markets, settling these transactions involves numerous intermediaries and different payment and settlement systems. Project Jura explores a more efficient and secure way to settle such transactions in central bank money with the help of new technology. Rather than interlinking three different platforms, the tokens circulate on a single platform to which the three commercial banks have access. Let's look at the solution design in more detail. It builds on the test platform of Six Digital Exchange or SDX. SDX is based on the permissioned DLT technical platform Corda from R3. On the SDX test platform, three different subnetworks are deployed, one for each wholesale CBDC and one for the tokenized commercial paper. Each subnetwork has its own notary node, which signs and timestamps every transfer. The notary nodes are controlled by the respective central banks for their own wholesale CBDC and by SDX for the tokenized commercial paper. The subnetworks are deployed in different cloud-based data centers. For the Euro wholesale CBDC and the commercial paper in France. For the Swiss franc wholesale CBDC in Switzerland. The Banque de France and the Swiss National Bank issue wholesale CBDCs on the SDX test platform against balances deposited on the Target2 Euro payment system and the SIC Swiss franc payment system, respectively. A tokenized commercial paper is issued on a newly developed distributed ledger platform called Digital Asset Repository, DAR. For the transfer, the tokenized commercial paper on the DAR is frozen and mirrored on the SDX test platform. With this setup, the three commercial banks involved can now transfer wholesale CBDCs and the tokenized commercial paper in SDX instantaneously and atomically, both for delivery versus payment and payment versus payment transactions. Going deeper into the settlements described earlier, let's look at the example of a foreign exchange transaction between a Swiss and a French bank involving the transfer of Euro wholesale CBDC against Swiss franc wholesale CBDC. The payment versus payment settlement takes place in two different subnetworks one for the Euro Wholesale CBDC and one for the Swiss Franc Wholesale CBDC. The notaries in the sub-networks provide control over the settlements. For the Euro Wholesale CBDC, the notary is controlled by Banque de France. 
For the Swiss franc wholesale CBDC, the notary is controlled by SNB. This approach provides the individual central banks with the ability to control their respective wholesale CBDCs on a third-party platform. For the payment versus payment transfers to be exchanged atomically, the notary nodes in the two subnetworks must interact as they sign and timestamp the transfer in each subnetwork jointly. For this, an innovative dual notary signing capability was developed by R3 for Corda and implemented on the SDX test platform. It ensures that the transaction is only processed if both notary nodes sign and timestamp the transaction. What do we learn from Project Jura? The project shows a new way to settle tokenized financial instruments and foreign exchange across borders, which works under realistic conditions. By issuing wholesale CBDC to eligible resident and non-resident financial institutions, the safety of central bank money is extended to cross-border settlements. And novel technology gives the central banks independent control over their respective wholesale CBDC issued on a single platform.